What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American Politics, back in with a new video, and I cannot believe we're making this video. Look, I thought this was a parody. I thought this was fake. I did not think John Thune actually suggested this. John Thune, the useless senator from the great state of South Dakota, I know many great people from South Dakota, they have bozos like this representing them. Look, <clears throat> I can understand trying to get cinema to vote with us a bit more on some issues, but trying to make her caucus with us and potentially run her as the candidate in 2024? Are you freaking kidding me? So if you don't know, John Thune and Cinema, they're good friends. And Thune is trying to get Cinema to caucus with the GOP. And not only that, but make her the main candidate in the 2024 Senate race in the state of Arizona. Are you freaking serious? To avoid a three-way race? I am baffled at the GOP at times. Look, before we continue with my borderline rant, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the Twitter account in the description down below, and join the channel today. Guys, you know the big deal. If you join the channel today, it only starts at $3 a month. That's a great deal to help support the daily content we all know and love. So I recommend you join today. All right, everybody, let's get into it. I cannot believe this is even a serious thought. I thought, again, I thought this was a joke. I thought somebody was pulling a leg. I thought this was a meme. Nope, this is real. We have serious discussions about Kirsten Cinema caucusing with the GOP and potentially making her the candidate for 2024? Look, if Cinema was an actual moderate, you know, vote against Biden 50% of the time, you could make an argument. She could be like a Jeff Van Drew, all right? Van Drew, when he was a Democrat, still supported Trump's policies around 40-50% of the time. Cinema's not even that. She is like 20% of the time, if that opposing cinema. In fact, John Tester has a more moderate record than cinema. Look, this hype with cinema is pissing me off because clowns like her are no moderates. She's a progressive that sometimes votes against Biden. Sometimes. But 90% of the time, she sides with Biden. She has no moderate record. Yeah, she killed some things like getting rid of the filibuster or anything like that. That's it. That's the only thing she's done that she's not, she's like for the filibuster. That's the only thing going for her. She has no serious opposition to any policy Biden supports. At least with Manchin. Every now and again, he'll vote against the Democrats. Even then, that's starting to become a rare occurrence. But, guys, stop it. Look, we have a potential free pickup in Arizona. We could get somebody like Blake Masters, somebody like Debbie Lesko, somebody like Andy Biggs, anybody that would vote with Republican Republicans 90-95% of the time. All right? Instead, we're trying to propose getting somebody that will vote with us 10% of the time to be our candidate. Look, in a three-way race, Cinema will tank Gallego. That's what the reality is. Stop this crap of, oh, Gallego is the favorite because Cinema will take away votes. The voters Cinema will actually take are those McCain Republicans from 15 freaking years ago that only, they worshipped McCain but never vote Republican outside of McCain. Those are the Republicans Cinema would win. Gallego certainly wouldn't win them. He's going to, quite frankly, his past statements are going to sink him in the state. And that's what I'm saying. In a three-way race, you run a wet cardboard. 
you know, you run anybody and they would win. Because Cinema would take more votes away from Gallego than he would she would from the Republican candidate. I just do not get this reasoning to get Cinema as a candidate. If she wanted the caucus for the Republican Party, she would have come already. Nope. She would have came to the GOP already. But nope. She has not done that. She's a fraud. She is only doing this for her own political gain. She's trying to become John McCain too. You know, be a part, you know, vote a party line 90% of the time, but come out as a moderate and a neocon at that. She's a neoliberal. She's a progressive. What do you want to call her? Whatever. She is not a moderate. She's a fraud. She should not be anywhere in the Republican Party. She's pro-choice, pro-transgenderism, all that. There's nothing moderate about Kirsten Cinema. All right. Now, I know it's going to happen. We're going to have clowns like McConnell. They're going to promise Cinema like $50 million in fundraising if she runs the Republican candidate. If that actually happens, you're going to see a nuclear explosion in me. Because if people like Blake Masters got shafted in 2022, but we would rather spend all that money on Cinema. A lifelong Democrat who has a record of progressivism? Really? That is what our strategy is? You know what the strategy of that is? Losing. That's a loser mentality. It shows what's wrong with the Republican Party. You wouldn't need to beg cinema to join the, re the Republican Party if you would actually help Blake Masters this past cycle. People are going to say, oh, Blake Masters should have fundraised better. No. It's impossible for masters to fundraise when clowns like McConnell tell the donors, do not donate to him. Do not give him any money. And he told other organizations, do the same. Stop this crap of trying to, you know, make Blake Masters seem like a terrible candidate when nobody helped him. Everybody refused to give him a freaking dime. He fought in a competitive primary, and I'm sick of it. So I hope that... This talk of Kirsten Cinema is fake because if we would give Cinema $50, $60 million right off the bat to be the GOP candidate, I will be so pissed off that we couldn't do that for Blake Masters. Anyways, folks, this was a quick video. You should expect a second one later today. I am beyond frustrated with the GOP. This is a loser mentality. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash the like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your, share with your friends. All that good stuff. We'll see you guys in the next video. Godspeed to all of you.